Hello, nerdlings. Hi, nerdlings. So, uh, you know, not only does this lovely lady here spoil me at Christmas time, but she also spoiled me at Valentine's Day, too. I did. Do you know how? <gasps> Bada bing! Look at this! So... Now our collection is complete! <laughs> NES Classic, Super Nintendo Classic, Famicom Classic, and Super Famicom Classic. Hey, and just like the Famicom Classic, and hopefully you watched that video, if not, go watch that video after this one, <laughs> it didn't come with the little plug-in! So I had to get it again! <laughs> And the only reason I actually got this because it's literally the exact same plugin as the other one. I got it because the boxes match. So it kind of does make the whole box, you know, the collection complete. It's all the same coloring. It says Super Famicom. So. Well, hey, that's also not a bad thing to have either <laughs> because when we first bought our NES Classic, we were lucky enough to get a second controller for that. Yes. Which came in its own little box. Of course, ever since then, all of these other systems have had two controllers yeah. in them. So, uh, we might as well have some little tiny boxes to go along with yep. them anyway. As long as they match in the same color and everything. <laughs> so, just like with the uh, comparison between the NES Classic and the Famicom Classic, the Super Famicom Classic does have just a couple of games that the Super Nintendo version did not have. Uh, there is a soccer game, I noticed. As well as, uh, it looks like a Mystical Ninja Goemon game, which I'm very excited to sit down and try out. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure that wasn't on the North American Super Nintendo Classic one. Maybe if you hold that thought, we can do a little magic. Look! I magically made it come over here. Here you go. So again, uh, very much same size, yep. boxes and everything. Whoops, this one's empty. This is going crazy. <laughs> I am going crazy. <laughs> uh, it does come with Star Fox 2 that was never released, of course. Yeah. And uh, you do have like your Super Metroid, Nev Zero, Super Mario World. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm excited to check out the games on here that were not on here. Looks like there's a little puzzle game on here too. Um, Unfortunately, one that I do see on here is a Fire Emblem game, and since I do not speak, read, or write Japanese, I do not think I could get much out of that game. It didn't stop you from playing Chrono Trigger. That is true. <laughs> or Zelda. <laughs> well, Zelda's <laughs> there's not as much. Chrono Trigger, it's a little trickier because uh, you have to just start memorizing uh, certain menu things. <laughs> let's take a look inside yeah, let's this do box it. as well. Now the Super Famicom, we remember that it has the uh, the Nintendo thingy points. My Nintendo points? Is that what it was? The Famicom one? Yeah, the Famicom one had that. Does this one? I'm not seeing any, but uh, it does have the, the booklet, of course. And then looks like your controllers in their cords. And uh, they're not quite as tiny as the Famicom one was. These are but, pretty much the same size as a regular. But look at those beautiful Super Famicom colors. Oh, man, we missed out. In yeah, we States. did. Well, didn't they release one of the controllers that came out like they, that? There was. There was like a uh, Super Pad. And, yeah. You know, for one, Super Nintendo. Oh, man, it was my system. So this, the do the this controller phone. feels so yeah. good. I like this. Ooh, listen to that. Yeah. This was our fidget, not f yeah, fidget cubes was just playing with these things. Um, it's got that nice texture on it. It's it's kind of a, not quite a rubberized texture. No, it's just raised. But maybe. it doesn't feel like it's going to just slip out of your hands or anything. And it says Nintendo <laughs> Super Famicom on what it. A, what a comfortable controller, Nintendo. You guys did great with the Super Nintendo. <laughs> of course, your HDMI and your USB power, power cables. Cord. And then, you're not just playing with power. You're playing with Super Famicom. Power. Oh, I guess it doesn't work as well. <laughs> Look how adorable that is! Oh, 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 oh. Look at it. It is so, so cute. cute. Again, the attention to detail is just amazing. You got your buttons where you're... 
I mean, I do. I mean, I know why they did it, but I still kind of wish the door would go in just a little. Bit. Cartridge slot. Your eject button doesn't do anything. Uh, looks like it's the same, the same uh, deal with the front for the controller ports, mm -hmm. where like on the Super NES Classic, you have this little piece that kind of comes loose to where you can plug in the controllers plug right there. Plug it in. Plug it in. And that's kind of neat. Um, I like how they left the detail on there. Yeah, yeah. It's it's almost annoying that you have this little this little door piece that you have to pull off just to be able to plug that controller in. But like she said, I'm I'm very much glad that they left that on there with the this original controller design. About the same length Ooh. as the regular cord. Yeah. So it's like a good length. That's longer than the uh, NES classic cord was. You know, I've often asked people how. Uh, what did they think of the fact that, you know, there's a lot being said of, oh, well, you want the shorter cord so you're closer to the system because you have to hit that reset button to get back to your menu. What I've wondered is, would it have bothered you to have an additional button on the controller for any of the classic mm -hmm. systems? Just have the reset button. And uh, yeah, just have that button right there. Obviously, you lose the aesthetic of the controller not looking 100% as it did before because you would have that additional button, but you would have it to where you wouldn't have to be so close to the system. You it know, could have even opened up uh, maybe wireless controllers or something. I was going to say, something they could have done, though, is come up with some kind of button combination with the start select to make it the reset button. Possibly. That may not have been a bad idea. But, uh, it's so cute. And it looks so good it. too. I love the Famicom colors and the little emblem yeah, up top little, and everything. Yeah, it's um, a little heavier than the Famicom, <laughs> the regular, the the Famicom Classic that we got at Christmas. So this is going to be a lot of fun because yes. there's so many great games on yeah. here, and I I typically don't need an excuse to play through Link to the Past again. Is that Secret of Mana on there? It does. So, oh, Secret of Mana 2. Uh, so whenever I'm done playing that on the PS4, I can uh, just hop over well, then, and try to play the Japanese version. Being an action RPG, I might actually stand a chance with that. Is it actually the second version, or did they just call it... The For them, one? yes, it was. It was the second version? It was the second one. Because on the, on the Super NES Classic, they had Secret of Mana, so you could play Secret of Mana on that one, and then pop over to this guy... Play well, second. it's the same game. Oh, is it? But we, what's the first game for us in the series was oh. the second game in what their series. What was the series. first game? Seiken Desensu. Oh. I didn't play a whole lot of the Super it's, Nintendo. It's I went very, from Nintendo to Genesis. <laughs> it's very similar to how, uh, and even on here, they list it, and hopefully, future Tom, get that zoom in going on here, here maybe a, uh, maybe work a little better like this but Final Fantasy since Final Fantasy 6 in Japan became our Final Fantasy 3 in America it does reflect that on the back cover art because on the Super Famicom you see that it is Final Fantasy 6 whereas North America Super Nintendo classic we get Final Fantasy 3 nice. so it's kind of the same thing with uh, yeah. the Mana games and that would actually happen quite a bit uh, with uh, some of the games that's why you know People were wondering, how come we missed so many Final Fantasy games when 7 came out on PlayStation? But this is going to be a lot of fun because a lot of these games are so much fun to play anyway. And uh, the majority of these, you don't need to know any Japanese to be able to enjoy and just have that fun little experience of playing through and finishing them and telling everyone, oh yeah, yeah, I, I totally beat that game in Japanese. Yep. You know something else that's kind of nice about this? It's a locked in controller did you ever have the issue of your little sibling or your parents or your dog walking in front <laughs> and yanking your cord out right at the wrong time it's not gonna happen with this one it better not <laughs> just stay away from it when i'm playing i'm just saying i had that issue a lot with my nintendo <laughs> the cord getting just yanked out because it was you know it didn't have any stops in it so I like that. I like that it's you have to actually push the little thingies in on the sides. It's just neat little touches like that <laughs> that I think that are so smart. Probably because all of those Nintendo players 
had the same thing happen to them. So when they're like, when we make this, we're going to make it better. <laughs> well, anyway, happy Valentine's well, Day, thank dear. you, my dear. I love it, and I love you, I and love I love you. how you get me awesome nerdy stuff all the time, which is really great. This is our romantic gifts. <laughs> hey, I got him chocolates. <laughs> but uh, again, definitely let us know if you guys picked up the Super Famicom Classic mm -hmm. as well. And just like with the other systems, uh, did you try out any of the games that were Japan only? And what did you think of those? Maybe you found a way to get pretty far into Fire Emblem. If you did, I would love to have some tips. <laughs> Again, same thing with the Famicom one. Let us know, do you think they should have gone ahead and imported this? I mean, they imported the Famicom Rob Amiibo into the United States. I think, I honestly think they should have imported these instead of just making them across the seas. But let us know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We got lots of fun stuff going on there too. We're all over the place. Yeah, we are all over the place. All right, well, as much as I would love to uh, start with one of the Japanese games, I don't know. Link to the Past is kind of calling my name. What about Donkey Kong? He's Did kind of calling my name. Yoshi. Yoshi's calling my name. There's Kirby. There's a lot of, a lot of it, Super Nintendo, Super Famicom games calling my name here. There are a lot of really good games on here. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. We'll see you later. 楽しさはそのままにスーパーファミコンが帰ってきた。任天堂クラシックミニスーパーファミコン。How do you translate? Hey! Huh?